You live in what kind of home? Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. We've all seen it, and now you're probably here for the sex-changing clownfish stories that Disney didn't tell you. Wait, I mean, we'll, we'll get to that. As Disney taught us, Nemo does live in an anemone, an anemone, and this poisonous coral is actually a relative of the Portuguese man o' war, with each of its tentacles packing a powerful poisonous sting that it uses to kill its prey. Nemo's home not only uses its poison to paralyze, kill, and eat animals, but it engages with wars with other coral colonies for rights over valuable ocean real estate. And some sea anemones have even been known to eat birds. Bet you didn't see that coming. Clownfish and their anemone fish cousins develop an immunity to the toxin by rubbing up against the tentacles, causing a layer of mucus to build up on the clownfish, which in turn protects them from the fish killing toxin. They share a symbiotic relationship with the anemone, where the toxic tentacles provide safety for the clownfish from predators, and in return, the clownfish drives off intruders from the anemone and cleans its host from parasites. Now how about some movie trivia for you? Did you know that Nemo's dad Marlin was actually his mother? Let me explain. Just after Disney's opening scene, where Nemo's mother was eaten, Marlin, Nemo's dad, would have undergone a sex change to become Marlene, the dominant female in the group. Not only is this a common occurrence, but all clownfish are actually born male, and when the female dies, the dominant male will undergo a sex change to become the next dominant female. Clownfish have even been observed mating male to male, where halfway through the mate, the larger of the two will become female. These are just a few things Disney didn't want you to know about their cute little star. Now, I'm actually in the process of refilming an entire live-action Finding Nemo movie and adding in a few of these realistic twists. If you want to support me in my endeavor to bring you an accurate Finding Nemo, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button.